Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the art house again. <laughs> so I have a breaking update here. I um, was looking at the recent sales. So about what was it last weekend, maybe? Um, so like a few days ago, right? I did a video about a few active eBay auctions. So there was one seller who uh, received a few uh, a alpha precon kit from Eric's Curioso, the creator of Sorcery Contested Realm. And in that kit, there is one booster pack. And this person did a video of that booster pack. There's 15 cards in the pack. He hit a foil card and, um, you know, there's a there's one unique card, one unique or elite slot, three exceptionals and 11 ordinaries. And in this pack, he was fortunate enough to get a, a um, foil card, which are one in four packs. And he um, got several other cards, right? And we saw that those were listed on eBay. It was an obvious correlation between this particular box uh, recipient of that product. Um, so we, we know who was selling, right? And then it came to light. So, you know, when I posted that video, I think there was about three days left in the auction. So I wanted to do a follow up and I was looking at the sales data and I noticed something very interesting. So I'm gonna go first to a couple screenshots. Actually, let's start with um, 130point.com. That's the website I have up, right? So here's the sales, right? We have the dark tower and let's take a look. We click on the card and you see there's no, um, in the alpha precon decks, follow my cursor here with a little magnifying glass. In the alpha precon pre-constructed decks, there is these little lines coming out from art and the artist's name. That's how you know that those are from the pre-con decks. We know these are alpha cards because they have the alpha symbol right here and they do not have those lines. So we know these are from alpha packs, right? So we have the dark tower and let me close that out and go back here. That one sold for 1750, seven bids. We had Fade, Elvira Shakarova <laughs> artwork that sold for 1350. Vanguard Knights, $33, pretty interesting. Take a look at that, that's an exceptional, so that was a little higher. And a few others, right? Will the Wisps, the Infernal Legion was the very interesting one because that got nine bids, $101. And that's an elite, right? But a non-foil elite, so they're not all that rare particularly. Um, and then you had the foil card and that landed at $78. So it's interesting that this Infernal, Infernal Legion non-foil elite sold more than the foil card. And the foil card is, is uh, quite rare, you know, because there's one in four packs. You can get it at any rarity, even at an ordinary rarity. There's 400 cards in a set, a lot of ordinary cards. So that is a pretty um, interesting data point, right? But when you peel that back further, um, I was on Facebook. One of the benefits of being on Facebook, there's a lot of public information. There's people putting info out there. Um, I know you're not all out there, so it's valuable to share this information, right? So if I, let me pull up the first screenshot. And the seller of this is Alan Jones, right? And he goes by Alan the Kraken on social media. Uh, since this is public on Facebook, I assume, you know, I'm not judging uh, or criticizing the seller. He received this product. The company did not tell him that he could not sell. So he decided to sell, right? People sell for all kinds of reasons. That's cool. All right. So he ran this auction and he noted here. So this was posted 15 hours ago. This is May 10th, 2023 that I'm reporting this. And he says, I've reported this buyer to eBay and I've blocked him from bidding in the future. All right. So you see that the will the wist bid was canceled. And then Fade was canceled, and Dark Tower was canceled, and Vanguard Knights. And I have another snip where you could see that a little better. And you could see it was the same buyer. We'll get into that in a moment. Same seller. You know, that's Alan's account on eBay, apparently. And uh, canceled, canceled, canceled. The Fade card, the Vanguard Knights, and the Dark Tower. So naturally, you would suspect shill bidding. Right. And shill bidding is when people put in a fake bid and they try to bid up the price of cards to manipulate the market to make them look more valuable. And it kind of explains why we see some strange pricing here. Right. It's a limited sample size, but it, it's very odd that cards would be selling for this much. Really, you know, particularly the ordinary rarity cards in the game, they they're going to be fairly inexpensive, I'm sure, because there'll be many of them. Twenty nine thousand or so boxes printed, lots of ordinary cards, 11 per pack. That's a lot of packs, a lot of ordinaries. But even the exceptional and the elite in non-foil um, may not be particularly pricey. Now, this is pre-alpha. This is the only way to get the cards. You might expect some anxious bidders bidding it up, just like we're seeing with the booster boxes and the pre-con decks. But nevertheless, the data looks suspect, and now we have evidence here. So if we dig a little deeper, we know that Fade, Vanguard Knights, and then the Dark Tower were the ones that were shown as canceled in that snap, right? So let's start with the Dark Tower. Take a look at the bids. There are seven bids here. 
And the winning bidder is the guy that canceled here. So V, it ends in V and one. They don't give you the full bidder name. 518 um, transactions on eBay, right? So let's just go off the 518 for ease of reference. And you see that this person came in at the end. Actually, there, so there might have been legitimate bids. It's a little odd. You have the same bidder here several times, bidding up to 17, but then this guy topped it off at 1750. All right. So that's the Dark Tower. Look at the history on Fade. That sold for 1350. Again, 518 TV. That's the same bidder. He canceled and won that auction. All right. So the sale didn't go through. And we've seen these relisted on eBay. I'll show that in a moment. Um, but if we go down to Infernal Legion, $101. So that was the bigger sale. Uh, so there were a few different bidders here. There were nine bids, five different bidders, and it looks like various bidders, not the one that canceled, bid this up to $75, and then he comes in at $77, but ultimately it sold for 100, or there was a bid at 100, and then it sold for 101. So that may or may not be legitimate. There was one active buyer who's been that up um, at various price points, and as far as we know, I believe this transaction held and did not get canceled. All right, so if we go to the Will of the Wisp, this one again, you have the uh, 518, and um, let me see, I believe that was one of the ones that was canceled. Uh, no, that was not in the screen snip, so I'm not sure if that, if that, tra oh, that was canceled. Yeah, that was in the first image we saw. So again, that same bidder canceled the order. So again, there's four examples here of transactions that did not close. So that, you know, it's a limited sample size anyway, so the data is kind of suspect. We really can't draw any correlation to say that this is the value of alpha cards. We really won't know that until supply hits the market post-release. We all have product in hand, and there'll be a lot of activity on eBay. But this is the unfortunate thing of eBay. Um, it's easy to get out of, wiggle your way out of sales. Um, you know, it probably has some adverse consequence to your account if it's reported. But, um, you know, this is what happens. It's, it's a very large auction platform. It's hard to manage and it's hard to have full confidence that there isn't shill bidding going on. Um, so those are some of the things you need to be aware of and sensitive to. Um, I also run auctions on a Sorcery Contested Realm community group for community members, consignment, and for artists uh, selling some of their artwork and special products and things. And that's a tighter community that I can control. And, um, you know, I, I uphold the rules and treat them very seriously. I've had to ban a few folks that bid and did not follow through on their bid. Fortunately, it was early in the auction. They messaged me. They said, hey, you know, I'm not going to be able to follow through with the, with the purchase and uphold my bid. And I was like, you know, the rules clearly state that bids are binding. So you can, if you withdraw, I'm going to have to ban you from the platform. Um, or you can honor the integrity of your bid and kind of see how this plays out. Maybe someone bids above you or you just honor your word and make the purchase. And in a few cases, they opted to withdraw the bid. So it's a violation of the rules and I have to ban them because um, to maintain the integrity of the auction platform. Right. So I'm sure a eBay has safeguards in place. Um, but point being, these types of things happened. Uh, it's worth drawing attention to the fact that these transactions did not prevail. So these price points in the you know, $13, $17, $33 range. Those are not real bids. These are relisted. So now it'll be interesting to see if the transaction actually closes. Um, but again, like it's, it's hard to have confidence in the bidders and know that these are genuine people interested or not. You know, we, there's really no way to tell that. All right. So if we go to active eBay listings, um, here you see, so the tower is relisted 99 cents, um, starting bid six days left. So it's very early, no bids yet. Uh, there's the Will of the Wisp, same thing. Looks like these are all starting at 99 cents. There's Fade, there's the Vanguard Knights, and maybe that's it, okay? Um, you have some sample cards here. Interesting, $300, uh, ask, $299.95, plus five shipping, about 300 bucks. And um, yeah, so there's your few Alpha cards. Looks like four of those did not go through. It wasn't the heaviest sales for the foil, nor the Elite Melissa Benson Infernal Legion artwork. Um, card, but um, interesting activity nevertheless. You got to be careful out there. Be careful with auctions. There is the um, there's a Discord marketplace. There's also a Facebook uh, marketplace that that I stood up and managed with a few other guys. So you can join those forums. I think the Facebook's group is very close to 700 members already after being stood up just two months ago. So there's a lot of interest. There's a lot of alternatives for buy sell trade um, that you can consider. Of course, eBay has a massive audience. That's why people auction there. So it is a, a good platform. You know, it's a good opportunity. Um, but there are alternatives, and uh, we all got to try to work ethically. Um, you know, act with integrity, and uh, 
you know, try to keep things positive in sorcery and chase chase these collections. It's really hard to get a master set. It's even pretty difficult to get a non-foil set unless you're opening many boxes and buying, selling, and trading. So best of luck to all of you guys um, out there trying to reach your goals. Um, looks like art proofs will be here very soon. Some of the artists are starting to receive those, so that's very exciting. There's going to be a lot of fun things to collect, a lot of excitement. Um, so be careful out there. Um, watch the 130 point sales history. Keep your eyes and ears open. Report bad actors. And um, let's just try to act ethically and reach our collection goals and gaming goals. Take care. Till next time.